Hey guys, Jeffrey here with Cutting Edge Lawn Equipment. I'm going to show you how to do a hydro service on your ZT3100. Uh, this also will show you how to do a hydro service on a 2800 and a 3200 hydro gear transmission. The first thing you want to do guys is make sure you can get your mower in the air securely. Uh, rather you use a chain hoist, stack stands, uh, whatever you have to get the mower somewhere in the air so you can get underneath to the filters. So I'm going to show you what tools we're going to need for the hydro service. I have an oil wrench pliers. I have a 3 8 wrench uh, to take off the covers for the hydro filters. I have a 3 8 uh, socket on an impact also to take off the hydro filter covers. If you don't have an impact and a socket, I'm going to show you that you can also use just a wrench. I have a 7 8 for the top plug on top of the transmissions and a 13 16 impact to take off the tires and then these are the filters we're going to use hydro gear uh, part number 52114 they're just the spin on filters that it takes you need two of those I'm first going to uh, remove the rear tires off the mower And if you're not able to remove the rear tires, that's fine. You don't have to. I do it uh, for easiest access. Uh, but if you can't remove the tires because you can't get it fully off the ground, you got to have your tires on the ground still. Uh, you can still do it the way I'm showing you. All right. So now we got the tires removed. You can see these caps right here on both sides of the transmissions. Uh, this is where your 3 8 comes in at. If you don't have a impact or anything to unscrew it, you can use a wrench. I just use this right here. I'm going to loosen, take these off. And you always have some debris in there, just tap it out. Do that on both sides. Once you have those removed, you can take your oil wrench pliers and it's kind of tight to get up in there. Just kind of get in there and then loosen the filters. You can go ahead and remove the filters once the oil drains out of it. Now, now we've got the filters removed. So once your oil is drained out, so when you wanna take your new filters, you wanna always take some oil and wipe around the O-ring of the new oil filter. Also make sure that the old oil filter O-ring isn't stuck onto here. And make sure that's nice and clean. You just take your new filter it on you just want to hand tighten them you don't have to take the oil wrench to it and make sure it's super tight just hand tighten and do the same thing on the other side now once we get our new uh, oil filters on there the most important part guys that a lot of people don't know about or don't do is pulling these bleed caps. I'll show you where they are. So, this is why I removed the tires, just so I can get better access to it. These caps right here need to be removed before you start adding oil. If you don't have your tires removed, you can still get in there from the inside. See the cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these caps. You might be wondering why, uh, cause I told you you have to remove them before you start adding the oil. The reason is, is cause it helps the air escape. So your fluid 
goes down faster. If you didn't remove them, it would take a lot longer for the fluid to get into the transmission. And then you have a likely chance of not filling it up all the way because it will just bubble down, bubble down, bubble down. So when you remove these caps and you start filling the transmission, you'll know when they're full, when the oil starts coming out of the top cap. Once the oil starts coming out is when you want to put your, your caps back on, make sure they're nice and snug, and then you can uh, finish the hydro service. So I'll go through them steps for you. So we'll remove these. So you can see my hydro reservoirs right here. This is where we're gonna fill the uh, transmissions up at. Each transmission is gonna roughly take uh, two quarts of oil. The oil the transmission stick is uh, 20W50 synthetic motor oil. Uh, do not put like transmission oil or hydro fluid in it. It just takes a uh, regular 20W50 uh, synthetic motor oil. I'm using the Kawasaki oil. So if we didn't have them ports on top pulled, it would just be slowly bubbling. Uh, as you can see, it's almost taken all of it already. So, I got my two quarts in there, and you can see that it's already flowing out of the top cap. So, I'm gonna take the cap I removed, screw it on there. So, once you it starts flowing out of there, and you hand tighten your top cap, that's when you want to take your wrench and go ahead and snug it up. Removed the tires, we've removed filters, put new filters on, removed our uh, top plugs, filled the transmissions up with oil, reinstalled our top plugs. Now, the next step is putting our covers back on. You always want to do that to uh, keep the filters protected. I just want to show that if you don't have to use the impact or anything, you can use simply just a 3 8 wrench to put them back on or take them off so now we got our caps back on so now we can uh put our tires back on and one thing i want to point out guys is while you're underneath your mower and doing a hydro service it's a good time to check your hydro belt your transmission belt right here and check the condition of it and you can also check your pulley if you wanted to so if we put two quarts of oil on each side on each transmission we took two quarts and it started flowing out so we put the top uh, caps back on but you can see that the hydro tanks here are still empty so you want to take another quart of oil you're gonna fill it up to the cold line which is right at the very bottom kind of hard to see but if you're looking at your mower you'll be able to see on the tank it'll say full cold so you can, we can fill it up right above that because when we run the system and flush it uh, after we did, did the hydro service, it'll take some more oil. So we can go ahead and do that. I just topped off the fluid. You can see this one's still bubbling down some. So we can let it do that. While it, since we already filled the transmissions, we can and topped off the tanks we can screw the caps back on and you can put your parking brake on go ahead and start the engine and just let it idle so now that i let the unit idle for a little bit just a couple minutes i'm gonna uh go outside and run it and let my transmission bleed and stuff and then I'll come back in and uh, recheck my fluid level and make sure everything's good. Hey guys, just got back from running the unit after the hydro service we did. I'm gonna recheck my hydro fluid. You wanna make sure that you have the hydro fluid right there at the bottom of the tank at that line I showed you. Uh, if it's not there, you can add some. 
it will fluctuate on how much is in there. You don't want to add any more than the bottom line though. Uh, it may cause it to overflow a little bit out of the tank because when the oil gets hot, it rises. Uh, so you don't want that. Make sure you get to get a good wash for any oil that might have gotten onto the transmission or the transmission belt. On hydro gear transmission, you have the first 75 hours and then after that first 75 hour hydro service, it's every 500 hours. It's extremely important you do the hydro service. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give us like and uh, subscribe to the channel for more tips. And come see us at Cutting Edge Lawn Equipment to get the service you deserve.